seems that Kevin Kelly is getting the best of the counter punch, and you would expect the opposite. They trade in short bursts and flurries. Nassim landing more accurately in this round than has been the case before, but taking some leather in return. Down goes Kelly on two hard left hands. Both fighters down twice in the fight. Ooh, a good Blistering straight right hand. hand by Hamed. Kelly a little slow to respond here. You got to be careful mixing up with Kelly because he can fight. And that's going to be ruled a knockdown as Nassim's glove grazed the canvas. So there's the count for that. Third knockdown of Hamed by Kelly and the Nassim advocates in the crowd boo that. Hard left hand by Kelly. And a right hand shot. Leaping right hand by the Prince. Ooh. And a hard left. And Kelly's down for the third time. Whoa. Six, seven, eight, nine. He's got a half a minute and he He's is gone. definitely hurt. He's and the for real. fight is over. He's the referee is within his rights to rule it a knockdown, and Benji Estevez did. And Whoa. then that stunning left hand, and Kevin Kelly unable to get up from that left hand. He couldn't beat the count, and Estevez very properly waved an end to the bout. A lot of that is, I just can't believe it. Kelly has that look. He just does not believe this guy. Ooh, and that blow, blow by Cooney, went undetected by Joe Cortez. Good inside uppercut by Foreman. Oh, and look at the left. Come up and slice the left. And Jerry Cooney's in big trouble. He's ready to go. And there he goes. And he is badly hurt. Same position he was in round five against Spinks. A clubbing right hand by Foreman. Now let's see if he's learned anything about how to survive, because he's got a minute and eight seconds left. Oh, oh and that's it. And I don't think hey, this fight's over. This fight's over. George Foreman Big blows George. away Jerry Cooney that's in the second round. Walking to Cooney. I'm sorry, left got him in trouble. It was a left hand inside that first got him in trouble. And then George didn't waste any punches, very accurate. Three punches, they all landed and they all kept Cooney in trouble. And then a swinging right hand and helped us and down. George Foreman did not miss one punch once he had his man hurt. But it was the left that sliced between the gloves of Jerry Cooney. There it is right there, you saw it lift the chin. And now it's just target practice. And Jerry Cooney really showing a lot of will just staying on his feet. He's out on his feet. And let me say something about Jerry Cooney. In the Holmes fight and the Sphinx fight, when he was hurt that way, when his legs buckled. But again, you see it's that left uppercut that splits the gloves, and now Jerry Boom. Cooney is defenseless. Struggles up. George clubs him again. Tries, struggles his legs, have his legs hold his big six foot seven body up. Target practice. Plate this power from these giants. Two fighters trading left hooks at close range in round one. Fight promises a lot of fireworks. Time's coming up. Wilson tries a right hand across the top. Tua lands a short left. First down, Wilson. Or first time Wilson's ever been down. Can he beat the bell? Can he beat the bell? No. He can't. He's counted out. Another first round knockout for David Tua. Clean as a whistle. That's that the was, left hook, huh? That was a vicious first. And as it happened, Larry, George put his hand on my arm as if to say, that's the end of that. And just, sure enough. Just step back and drove that left hook. Just watch how he steps back. Boom. Woo! That, that's one of those eight-inch punches you don't see much of anymore, George. Oh, he had to extend it a little bit this time. When he was closer, he couldn't do it. But this guy gave him just enough room. And let me tell you, it's sleeping pill days. And trapped. He can move out of there when he wants to. Absolutely. Remember, the end of uh, round six, he almost knocked out Fennec with that, in that 